Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will be talking about the lost crossover between Monster High and Ever After High. <laughs> Before this video starts, um, I just want to say all credits to Peachy Reviews. Um, this video is totally inspired by her and most of the like footage is taken from her video. So I just want to say credit to her because if she didn't do her video, I probably wouldn't do mine. I just want even more people to know about this because like it could have been such a good movie and it's so sad that it got cancelled. But yeah, let's start. So like you saw in the intro, um, Monster High Never After High has always been like in the same universe. Um, there has been a small egg... Easter eggs, kind of like in New York, where you see Esther Nova talking to Apple Y and Raven. And Cupid, you know, just like transferring from Monster High to Ever After High. And the way some characters are really similar to each other. Um, and there's also actually a book that's called The Legend of Shadow High. And um, I'm guessing that that was what the movie was going to be called, Shadow High or The Legend of Shadow High. And also a little fun fact, um, I live in Sweden and this uh, book is actually available to purchase uh, on Amazon Sweden. As you can see right here, um, it is actually $90, so real expensive. Or there's another option that is $200, um, so it's really expensive for some reason. But yeah, looking at Frankie and Jackie Laura, they are actually the reboot versions of themselves, which means that this movie might have come out during the reboot era. Though this picture from the movie is from is Cleo's old design, also Claudine's old design. So I don't know what this is. But yeah, this might just be a standalone book that has nothing to do with the movie, but yeah. But yeah, there's actually a full playlist on Monster High's official YouTube channel where you can watch, like, the, I don't know, script? No, the, like, before animations? I don't know. Um, and you can, like, see what the movie would have been like. I personally haven't watched it because, I mean, I don't like watching it when it's not, like, finished. Like, I feel like it looks weird. Um, but I might actually watch it right after I re finished recording this video, actually. Because I haven't watched those clips, this video might get affected by that. But um, I hope it doesn't. But yeah, this is a picture of Apple White. Um, what she would have looked like as a doll if the movie and, like, the dolls were actually released. And um, this is not an official doll, that like, a prototype. I think this is someone that has edited... I think it may be Hattastic Apple with that dress because that dress was supposed like to be in the movie. Sorry, I don't have a lot of information. <laughs> and as you can see here, she was supposed to have um, Dracula Laura's boots and her um, umbrella. But yeah, I feel like this doll would be so, so, so cute. Um, let me know if anyone has ever done like a custom of this doll because like I'd be really interested to see that because I just love this doll. I feel like it will look so cool. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know a lot about Ever After High. I'm not a very big Ever After High fan, but that man right there, I think he's called Grimm. He is in Ever After High, obviously. And this is a clip taken from 13 Wishes. So my speculation is that... Gigi might come from uh, Ever After High because when you think about it, um, she's also not a like monster like you know Dracula, Claudine, Wolf, you know, and Gigi being a genie that is actually not a evil like monster. So I might think that um, Gigi's from Ever After High, and if they did something with that in the movie, I feel like that would be so so cool because Gigi's one of my all-time favorite characters. I think that she's so cool. Um, but yeah, I think it makes sense if she was actually from Ever After High, and then uh, in Certain Wishes in the beginning, um, you can see the Mad Hatter's um hat and also the Evil Queen's mirror up where uh, Halloween finds the lantern. And also, since uh, Gigi's lantern was uh, right where those things were, I think that they might have gotten, like, some Ever After High stuff, and then that Gigi's lantern was Ever After High thing, you know? So I think that Gigi is from Ever After High, actually. But yeah, um, if the movie came to fruition, we would have also gotten... This character, which um, this is a brand new character made specifically for the crossover movie. Her name is Yuna. If you've seen Peachy's video, you might 
know who this is but yeah um she is super cute looking here from the like 3d model she kind of looks like a novi star which i really like novi stars so i would not have been disappointed um but she is really cute she's a fox a nine-tailed fox i think she's just absolutely gorgeous and it is such a bummer that she was scrapped just because this movie didn't come to fruition i actually really want to know if she comes from ever after high or if she comes from monster high or if she likes i don't know how she enters um the universe um if she comes from monster high or from ever after high or if she like if they teleport she like comes from the, i don't know um but she is looking really cool um yeah so yeah thank you so much for watching um this was just a short video that i made because i just wanted to like spread info about this movie because it's so sad that they never made it and obviously my video is not as good if you look at peachy's um peachy's video will be linked down in the description if you want to like learn more about the movie and the short clips from the official monster high website or no youtube channel but yeah um, i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in my next video goodbye